Hey guys, it's Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. In today's video, we will be talking about goals and goal setting. So go ahead and grab your paper and a pen. If there's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we know that it is near 2023, and I know some of y'all have not set your goals for 2023, but I am here to help you and walk you through setting goals. If you have never set a goal ever in your life, we are going to go through the steps to actually write goals for 2023. The importance of creating a goals is to design the life that you want. To design the life that you want to have, you must have some kind of goals. And I'm just going to start with this quote. Do what's necessary now so you can do what you want later. The first thing you need to think about when you are creating your goals, you want to make your goals well defined and measurable. The better you define your goals, the harder you will work on them and the stronger they will pull you through any rough times or any difficulties that you may come across while you are trying to reach your goals. Goal setting is one of the most important skills to develop if you want to design the life of your dream. Goal setting will also allow you to live the life you always dream of having, but you never believe it is possible. All right, so here is where your pen and paper come in. We're going to write down three steps that you need to start with first before you start creating your goals. The first step, you have to change your mindset. Changing your mindset. This is a huge, huge, important part of your goal setting. You have to know that everything that you want can come to you. Number two. You're going to write down all of your goals. You write down your goals so you will know what you actually want. You can look at these goals daily, even three times a day. This will condition your conscious mind on what you want and what it has to work towards. Number three, you will work towards your goal daily. You have to be disciplined when you start working towards what you want. What you want will start working its way towards you. If I need to say that again, I'm going to give y'all a second. You have to start working towards what you want. And what you want will start working its way towards you. Now, you have two types of goals. You have short-term goals and long-term goals. We will talk about the long-term goals first. Long-term goals is what I consider a journey. So when you are getting ready to create your long-term goals, I have five things that I want you to write down on your paper. Step one, what do I want to do? Step two, what do I want to see? Step three, what do I want to be? Step four, what do I want to have? Step five, where do I want to go? Now, I have given you five steps to break down your goals to get you started. You can take each one of those five goals. You can write either four detailed goals for each, each category, each question that you have written down. These are questions that you will ask yourself. You can write four to five of each ones. For right now, you don't have to go into detail. We will get to that later. But let's take Question number one that you're going to ask yourself, what do I want to do? You might want to become a motivational speaker. Just write down motivational speaker and then go to your next one and write down at least four to five things that you want to do. 
then you will continue on down until you finish your fifth question. Now, you may have or 25, depending if you write four or five things down up under each one. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to write down your greatest aspirations while you are doing this. This will move them to the forefront of your consciousness. Once you finish, read them again, and then write a number of years that you believe it will take to achieve them. Only write them in years for your long-term goal. Long-term means long-term. We are going to separate these into years. Now, I like to do one year, three year, five year, seven year, or 10 years. Or do you can do all of them. Just make sure you break them down into years. Now, once you finish writing all of them, look at your list again. Go down your list. And then for your first one under number one, what do I want to do? Write down. We're going to go back to using that motivational speaker. How long do you think it will take you to become a motivational speaker? You're going to do your research. You're going to do go to seminars, whatever you need to do to become that motivational speaker. Now, if you think it will take you two years to get to that motivational speaker to, you know, to get to the point where you are actually ready to become that motivational speaker, you can write down two years beside it, one year, whatever you think it's going to however long you think it's going to take you. You want to do that for everything that you have written down, every goal that you have written down. But you want to also make sure that they are balanced out. Balance them out. Don't have all of your goals. You want to reach everything on your list in one year, everything on your list in five years. Make sure you have them balanced out. Now, once you have everything written down, you're going to work on your list all the time. Now, once you write this list, you can add things and you can subtract things. Once you start working on a goal, you might change it and want to do something different or take a different approach to it. Now, let's go back and take one of those goals from each time frame and then write details. So what we're going to do is we are going to take for your first goal, what do I want to do? Take your one-year goal or your two-year goal, your, whichever goal is your smallest, take that year, and then you're going to write in detail about why you want that. You must create a why. Why do you want to reach this goal? If you look at it, you will have 25 goals that you have now. From five questions, you created it. 25 goals that was the thing that i wanted want you to do now if i would have told you to create 25 goals you would have been like oh, i don't know 25 goals i don't know so this will actually help you breaking them down into five different categories and then you're going to break them down and write either four or five that will make it easier for setting goals to start setting your goals so now that you have those 16 to 25 goals you are now going to write in detail why you want to reach those goals. So for your year one, you are going to write your details and write them clear, definite, define them on your why you want to actually reach those. If you can't think of a why, maybe you need to reevaluate your goals. Maybe they're just dreams rather than goals. Keep working on your goals until you have clear envision and strongly motivated goals. Now, just because you are starting to write on your goals today, because you are starting them today, doesn't mean that you have to get them completed today. You can always, like I said earlier, you can always add and you can always subtract from your goals. Goal setting is the first step, yet the most important thing to get getting your goals started goal achieving is a lifelong process they are two different things first you're going to set your goals on what you want now to achieve them is going to be a different journey you are going to work towards everything that you have written down on your paper 
you are, and this will take a lifetime. You will never stop working towards your goals. As long as you have goals written down, you will work harder and harder. You might take a different approach, like I mentioned earlier. Goals will always be a part of your life once you start to create them and you are reaching them. You will continue to create your goals. And once you achieve your goal, y'all, it is very, very rewarding. And that's why I say it is, it is a lifelong process because once you reach that first goal, you're going to continue to set goals because you know that it's something that you can actually do. All right, now we're going to get into short term goals. Short term goals can be accomplished in a day, weeks, or a month, but it's always maybe less than a month less than six months. We are going to do the very same thing that we did for our long-term goals. We're going to write them down and you're going to read what you've written down frequently. You can read them as much as three to five times a day. You're going to keep track of this progress because once you reach that goal, you always want to celebrate each goal, no matter how big or small it is. It is still something that you actually accomplish. Just say, for instance, if you wanted to save an extra $500 a month, and you did, you found that $500 from who knows where, but you actually was able to save that extra $500, you can celebrate it. Buy you a coffee. Just don't go spend the whole $500 because you saved it, guys. Do not do that. But I would say go buy you a coffee. Go buy, go buy yourself lunch or something and celebrate the fact that you actually reached that goal. Goals can be confidence builders. They also can be motivators to keep building the lifestyle that you want. Now, there are several different categories when you are making goals as well. You can do financial goals. That means how much you want to profit, how much you want to save, how much you want to make. You have lifestyle goals. What do you want to do to change your lifestyle? You have personal development. You, can, you want to be fit. You want to be a better communicator. You want to do a mindset shift. And you also have the things that you want. If you want cars, a new house, clothes, jewelry, whatever that you want to obtain, you can make a goal. Also, you have family goals. You have business goals. Just do whatever you that comes to mind. Anything that you want to achieve, you write this down. Do as you did with your long-term goals. Detail how many years you want to um, achieve those goals as well as why. But the only thing that's different that we're going to add in with short-term goal is how we are actually going to reach those goals. Once you have all of that written down and separated, what I like to do is once I jot everything down, I like to go and I like to separate it. So on my one year, goals either short-term or long-term goals i will write down my short-term goals at the top i will write one year on the top of the page and i will write down my short-term goals and then i will write down my long-term goals at the bottom because i like to have everything on one page and then once i get ready to write down my three year i will leave short-term goals on the top but i don't have anything written in there yet because I'm not working on my short-term goals for three years from now. I'm only working on short-term goals for now. Now, when you um, accomplish all of those short-term goals, you can create new short-term goals and you can put that on another piece of paper. But for my third year, I will do my short-term goals, leave that blank, but I will still write down my long-term goals in details. And I will continue to do that up until my 10th year that is just something i like to do to stay organized i'm not suggesting that you do it that way you do it whatever best fits you while you are arranging it just set your goals and any arrangement that you would like that is good for you we grow from two experiences in life one is from the joy of winning and the other is the pain of losing guys when you are setting goals don't think that you have to reach 
every every goal exactly when you have it set if you don't reach that goal in that first year keep on going to the second year until you actually reach that goal but the thing is you have to keep progress of reaching that goal as long as you're keeping progress of it you will see that if you're actually getting close to it or the next thing that i want you to write down once you finish your list is what kind of person do i have to become to get to what i want what kind of person do i have to become to get what i want write that down and work on becoming that person here you can create a personal development goal as well for your list if you can come up with anything for personal development but always remember when you are setting goals you want to set the kind of goals that will make something of you to achieve them don't set goals that won't change the person that you are setting goals should always create a different version of you i'm always all about becoming better than i was yesterday better than i was last week last month last year i'm always all about that trying to better myself so i hope that you guys found this video helpful if you did please consider hitting that like and subscribe button leaving me a comment and hitting that notification bell because i would love 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 to get more content out like this because once you teach something, you learn it again. So I know that since I am trying to teach this, I will actually learn how to set my goals a little bit better. So guys, I really, really appreciate you guys for stopping by watching this video. This is my first of this kind. I hope I was able to be clear and understanding about it. If not, you guys know I will redo it. I don't mind redoing it or getting doing a refresher course on this. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one. So if you guys don't mind, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button. Leave me a great comment. But as you know, as always, I want you to be blessed. Bye.